Nani Bonani guys and welcome to another video. Now today for like the last few hours everywhere I was looking people are talking about oh, Sonia Booth and I just even she's even trending the name Sonia Booth is trending. So now I'm wondering like why what what's the reason because I also did not know like who she was I'm like who is this what is happening and then I go on her Instagram and there Ooh, this is so sad. Oh, Sonia Booth. Apparently, she... Okay, so she's married to Me, oh, Matthew Booth. Now, if you don't know Matthew Booth, um, he's a South African footballer. He's a former footballer. Um, and then now, I think he does, like, sports commentation or something like that. Um, but he's played for, like... Um, he's played for teams like Mamelodi Sundowns. He's played for teams like... Um, Ajax Cape Town, the last team he played for was Ibed Vest Vets. And then he's also played for the South African he team. He was playing for the South African national team um, during the World Cup in 2010, according to my knowledge. Right. So he is married to Usonia Booth, this Matthew Booth. He has been married to Usonia Booth for 16 years. They got married in 2016. 2006 i mean and they have been married for 16 years and today she took to instagram to expose his cheating ways now this was a woman that was just tired or she was like she was a woman scorned she was just like you know what if you think you're going to cheat on me that ain't gonna happen, okay? Because I'm going to expose the F out of you. So the first post she made was this one. Uh, she said, Uskahala, which means don't thirst nor envy. It looks glossy from the outside. Yes, the grass is greener on the other side. However, have you for a second considered the amount of manure the rain and maintenance to sustain that greenery and she captioned it my posts are never random um she captioned it this was the start 14 february 2022 he said every day is valentine's day in the booth household he says that the tracker later revealed that Ubonga Nimtombe Nimula had been picked up by um Matthew that morning from, it said from her house, but I'll just go ahead and play the video for you, right? Talking about none other than Brian Mate as well as Matthew Booth. Gentlemen, a very happy Valentine's to you. I see nobody gave me the memo to wear a dash of red today. We knew you were coming, so we had to <laughs> put on a dash of red just to say, listen, we did take you to the botanical gardens to see all the flowers, yeah. but we brought it closer to you. Aha, uh -huh. Matthew, why wasn't I told? Now, if you hear from that, um, it Matthew Booth says that every day is Valentine's Day at at the Booth household, right? And then she posted a picture of um a cologne, right? I'll put the picture and then she captioned it. They spent the night in Polokwane and the following day he dropped her off at her home. I bet it was bliss because Matthew Booth arrived home with an exquisitely wrapped gift box, one of the perfumes being guilty, a wicked sense of humor Bongani Mula has. So, okay, so on the 14th of February, um, U U Matthew both collected this Bongani Mtombeni um, or Bongani Mula um, at her house, right? So this is what they talk about in this interview. And then he ends up saying that every day is Valentine's Day at the Matthew, at the Booth house, right? And then she proceeds to say that her husband arrived home with a gift wrapped box of perfume, right? On that same Valentine's Day. And then she posted other pictures 
Um, okay, so let me just read the caption. On the 10th of July, Matthew leaves the house in the morning, stops to buy flowers and goes to Bongani Muller's house. The bank statement shows Fishmonger lunch was being enjoyed. He got home in the evening after having spent the entire day there. This morning, Bongani's husband had this to say to me. I remember I was in Maputo for a lecture at this time. Her mom called to say the boys are with her in Falcom. I was puzzled, wondering why the boys were there. Now I know. So this is um the alleged. So the woman that Umethu Booth was cheating on Usonia Booth with was married. And this is what the husband of that woman, whose name is Ubongani, was saying to Usonia Booth. Uguti, on that day... When the guy bought flowers and they apparently spent spent the day together, he got a call from um the mother of the 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 wife saying that the kids are with her somewhere else where he did not know Uti that is where they were supposed to be, right? So on this picture it shows that the distance traveled. They he went to this place to get the flowers um and stuff like that she saw this um on the bank statement right so it's this fishmonger that he spent the whole day there and 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 the money for the flowers <sighs> this is so hard this is this is crazy and then after that on the 4th of august matthew picks up ubongani in her car, Sonia Booth's car, and they traveled to Empangeni, a seven-hour drive. They spent three nights there. This is supposed to be um, an initiative for the Booth Trust, which I would think is maybe a collaboratory trust between her and her husband, or it's just the husband's trust, right? And then she says that if she went with him to suss out future collaborations or donations or initiative for royal has coming then how come she hasn't been introduced to me considering i'm a co-founder trustee and d of the trust besides the trust website has our past initiative for anyone to peruse over moreover she could have sussed out from initiatives scheduled in, jo in johannesburg so she's trying to explain that it's not possible that this was just work related right this was a travel they made together for themselves it wasn't for any future collaborations or donations or initiatives for anything work related um because had it been that then bongani would have been introduced to her as a co-founder right so this is a journey detail um that shows Uguti they went to empangeni which was a seven hour drive right um yeah yo yeah. This is hard. This is crazy. It's so crazy. And then she posted something else and said, this was scheduled for Nate's 18th birthday, the 4th of November. It was changed after I gave Bongani Mula an ultimatum that if Matthew Booth missed our son's celebration, I will do exactly what I am doing now. Social media reneged on my promise after her husband this morning. So it's a picture. Um, it was... So it's an invitation um, for the 5th of November until the 7th of November. Um, so it's a meeting link. So they changed. Um, there was an event that was scheduled for the 18th of the 4th of November. And then it was changed. So, oh, so maybe they had an event. They were planning to meet. Now, this is what I am getting from this. If it is not true, I stand to be corrected. But this, she's saying that this was changed for the 4th of November. No, they're saying it was scheduled for the 4th of November, right? Um, but it was changed to be scheduled for... So it was the 4th of November 
to the 7th of November and then it was changed from November the 5th to November the 7th. So it was moved from the 4th to the 5th, right? The 4th was cancelled and it was moved to the 5th. It was changed. So she contacted Ubongani, the mistress, and told, gave her an ultimatum and said, my husband has to be home for my son's celebration um, or I'm going to do this on social media. Expose their... Um, whatever they were doing right and then she says i was livid at first that my car was used for the empangin trip but it turned out to be a blessing in disguise because my car app shows the exact address my research revealed her identity i then found her husband emailed him what i had at the time he later called me over 19 minutes teleconvo breaking down her patterns or history so this was the spouses of the two people that are cheating together talking about their cheating. He felt that what I shared via email justified our meeting. We had coffee this morning and he gave his blessing for me to do this because he doesn't know what else to do. He tried different approaches over the last 10 years. As for Matthew Booth, he is untouchable. He's a legend after all. So she's referring to... Um, his, you know, being a former footballer and now, you know, he's still maybe involved in the whole football field and he has um, a trust or he's a legend. He feels that he is untouchable. So she's saying that she talked to the woman's husband. Apparently, this has been happening for the last 10 years. She's tried um, different approaches. I mean, her cheating on her husband it's probably been happening over the last 10 years because that is what she's saying. He, she's saying, which the husband said that he'd been trying different approaches over 10 years and nothing has changed. So the picture credit, it says that my private investigator, he followed them in Bolokwane, Peter Maritzburg and Umsang. <laughs> so the meeting she had with the woman's husband, she took her private investigator with her, Right? This is a movie. She took a private investigator with her. And then the private investigator took the picture. You are at the cheesecake. So she says, two weeks ago, I noticed cheesecake ingredients in the fridge and the boys got excited. On the 3rd of November, the eve of Nate's birthday, Matthew Brook, Matthew both bakes. At night, I was fast asleep already. In the morning, we all got excited, salivating over the cheesecake, thinking it was for Nate's birthday. Imagine our shock and surprise when it disappeared from our fridge. The entire cake. Not even a taste, nor three slices nyana for me, N and N. I'm thinking those are the names of her children. We laughed and felt sorry for ourselves. Wow. This is so sad. She goes on to say, Bongani's husband this morning to me during our coffee meeting, this is what the husband said. She was in such a rush to leave on Friday saying she had to pick up football equipment um, for the team building in Peter Maritzburg and Umsang. Friday was the 4th of November. The 4th of November, that was supposed to be the son's birthday. The 4th of November, where on the 3rd and night and Thursday, the guy baked cheesecake and left with it in the morning, the day of the birthday. I'm suspecting, because previously, remember, she said that if her husband is not home for the birthday, she's going to expose them. So he still left to be with the mistress on his son's birthday after the mistress had been told Uti, if you guys continue i am going to expose you so they basically did not care is what i think right she goes on further to say me after adding two plus two together that the cheesecake went along with the equipment by the way was the cheesecake when you arrived at your house Klaus, the husband of the mistress yes how do you know it was delicious. This is what she said. Do you mind if I get my cake carrier back? I have a thing with my Tupperware. Just in case your wife doesn't bring it back. Klaus said, sure. He then gives me an access code. I follow him to his house. Find his helper washing it. I take it and then I leave.
This is her leaving. So. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Like what? Your choc choc chocolate, chocolate cake, cake, vanilla cake. Yes. Okay. But then why did you squeeze it? It's it's not sitting nicely in there. No, we're one. still gonna find it. Another another, another container. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to you pick have that to up because. This. Because my mom, my mom, my mom is missing it. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was wondering, I was wondering where it was because I also need to go and send my mom cake. Okay. okay. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you can ask the flowers. How I already told her. No, no, no. He, he, oh, how the taste was. Yeah, no, no. He, Fantastic cheesecake. Out of, out of, out of, of cheesecakes, of cheesecakes. That's restaurant grade. Okay. Out of so ten. I, 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 I don't know. Nine, out of, out of ten, you were given a nine. nine. Okay. A, a restaurant great cheese. Yeah, it needs it needs a fridge though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely needs a fridge. So as you heard, the husband said the cheesecake was delicious. He would rate it a nine out of ten. It was a restaurant level. The guy literally took his sweet time baking that cheesecake for the mistress and the mistress's husband. How do you make your husband eat cake that was baked by someone you're sleeping with that you're not married with? Is a question that is troubling me very deep in my soul. Let us read further. She says that I left the, carrier, the cake carrier on the garage floor where Matthew Booth parks. So she went to her house and left the cake carrier, which is her Tupperware, that she values very much in the garage where he parks. So when he comes home, he's going to find the Tupperware in the garage. And no, Guti, she went to the wife's home where she stays with her husband and collected her Tupperware. Yo. Uh -uh. So then she posted a series of pictures, right? And said at Royal Haskoning a virgin active discovery i believe you collaborated with bongani mula at matthew briggs and the safety legends for these training contracts for these training sessions i mean i wonder why other founders of the npc weren't involved me thinks you were simply used by bongani mula to get free personal training sessions boy of boy the amount of time she spent with her legend begs the question when does she actually work? This question is directed at you. At Royal underscore has con I can't pronounce the name. At Virgin Active at Discovery SA. Being tagged on such posts and aligning yourself with such does not align with your ethos of vitality, physical and mental well-being. So this is a series of pictures. She tagged Virgin Active while she was with the person she was sleeping with that she was married not married to posted virgin active posted virgin active with other people they're always hugging like they're literally always hugging in these they're always very touchy feely hey they're always next to each other she captioned it i'm grateful for my friends and at safety food legend at matthew booth um at joseph mccagne Another picture where they're hugging. They were having sessions together. I spent on average three hours with Jabulani Mangena every day. He's played a key role in not only my physical fitness journey, but blah, blah, blah. But that's not who you're hugging. Fire session with the best at Matthew Booth and trained by the best at Jabulani Mangena. Virgin Active, hashtag excellence or nothing, hashtag live happily active. How do you make your cheating public? I'm not understanding. When she posted a picture of them together, Kelami Virgin Active. Further, she says, now they are sending me messages of concern, sending people to my house to check up on me. Let me save you energy, time, airtime, and data. So Zendizi Bulale for Indod, not even for your legend. So she's saying, I'd never kill myself for a man, not even for your legend. Imagine me, Sonia. I survived ICU for a reason. Now stop with your pretentious and capricious concerns they make me ill i'm assuming it's the cheetahs 
o Bongani Mola as well as um o Matthew Booth that are now sending people sending messages of concerns because they've been seeing her series of posts right another post she says that i hope she sees this somehow considering she blocked me she should stick to her filthy rich 70 something year old alleged sugar daddy because matthew booth isn't as wealthy as he might have portrayed mm. peer pressure and keeping up with the motsepes has him dipping his fingers into our son's education funds for years now a meeting i had with our investment banker last week shook me I'll be damned. And then she captioned it. She must just hang in there considering how terminally ill that dead Zoekere is. Not too long till she gets her inheritance. And hopefully she can start financially supporting her legend. Because no asset with my name attached to it will be sold anytime soon. He himself mentioned his SS salary was not enough. Plenty salary that could stretch for someone living sensibly instead of keeping up appearances to impress groupies hashtag legends and groupies further she said begazela yamasipa musari otswara tsipaka bohaleng sent too many women to their early graves so she's saying that this whole like hold on you know women are strong they hold the knife by the tip it has sent many women to their early graves not her i was sonia before booth Better recognize, put some respect on my not so easy upbringing and surviving ICU. Everything I've experienced prepared me for this. I will survive this too. So by God's grace and the ancestors. I did see that she was, you know, um, um, she was actually a, a model before. And I saw that on her profile, she dies quite a few things let me just search it quickly so she's an author she's a rhetorician she's a speaker she's a voiceover artist she's a podcaster um she also does golf so she was like she's she does a lot she's actually actually um changed her i'm assuming she changed it her um twitter handle from whatever it was to i was sonia before both um i think excuse me her oh yeah she's wrote quite a few books there's two years of bliss 18 years of better there's sodom and gomorrah there's how to reinvent yourself and stay relevant there's surviving icu there's black tax these are five books that have been written by her or sonia booth which is why she's saying that she was sonia before she was booth Let's go back to Instagram. She says that if provoked, I will publish my not so PG findings, including those from my PI. However, that will only happen after exams. Yes, my PI has been following the legend and his groupies since their last Pulugwane PMB and Umslanga trips. And yes, her husband gave me his blessings during our coffee meeting this morning. Khale and yes i recorded our phone call on saturday and our entire meeting today and yes i made copies so she's saying that the husband of the mistress has been seeing so much for so long and he was just finally tired she's saying that i would have let this one slide too until i realized my cake career tupperware was at her house you don't mess with the township girl and her tupperware so what set her over the edge was the fact that her husband baked the liver. Do you guys think he even knew what it was his son's birthday the next day? Or was he so wrapped in this whatever he was doing that he just literally did not care? Because how are you going to bake knowing your at least bake two cakes, gay? At least bake two cakes. Leave one for your son, take one to your mistress. Not ka tapawe amusadwa how not with your wife's tapawe though. Matthew, you've been married to a black woman for what sixteen years and you still don't know that you do not mess with the township girl and her tapawe. Why would you do that? Yo She went on to say Royal Haskanin D V H did you did you do due diligence on why she got pushed out from a previous employer post? 
damning what a destroyer a very special director you have so i think this is what um oh so this royal Haskoden dhv dvh is what she is a director of okay the mistress bongani mtombeni mula i warned you but you chose to be clear to be a clever yako welcome naki taba pari yako pimvio away so she's saying that I told you that if my husband is not home for her son's for his son's birthday like also at what point do you have to start threatening your mistress for your husband to be home for your son This is just so heartbreaking and so gut wrenching But she's saying that she want her now gay and she's going to be clever I go pimville and she says if it's any consolation the legend baked another cheesecake Friday night for Nate's birthday as long. It was delicious, although a tad bit floppy because it was made late at night. A rushed job. Moreover, that second cheesecake contributed to load shedding because the blender and oven worked overtime. My apologies, Southie. Okay, so at least on Friday, on the night of, um, well, on the day of, um, the, his son's birthday he did bake a cake um but yeah right and then her last post was father i know nothing is too hard for you you can do anything i have faith in you in jesus name amen oh my god this is just so heartbreaking like i'm literally i ran out of words excuse me i have nothing to say i just I really don't know what to say. This is so heartbreaking. I'm so sorry to Sonia Booth that she's going through this. I was going to read some Twitter comments, but I'll make that, you know, a different video. But just, this is just so sad. This is it for this video, guys. Until next time.